The way you unlock things in Modern Warfare 3 is not like past Call of Duties. In past CODs, you just had to hit max rank and you get everything along the way. However, when you hit max rank in Modern Warfare 3, you're only going to have a handful of the weapons, perks, kill streaks. The rest of those come from the Armory Unlock Challenge system. Once you hit level 25, if you go in game, you can see we can press Y and this is going to open the Armory Unlocks. This is the only way you can get these items. There's a bunch of weapons here. You got to do this system to get these aftermarket parts, perks, equipment, field upgrades, kill streaks. There's also some cosmetic items like calling cards, but uh, the main thing you're here for are the weapons. And to get these, you have to do daily challenges. However, there is a way you can farm it and get infinite progression in one day. And that's what we're going to be showing off in this video. If you want to see any more guides like this in the future, make sure to unlock that sub button. We're going to be covering everything Modern Warfare 3 related. And there is one way to get around this entire system completely and unlock weapons instantly, but we'll cover that in just a bit. So how this system works, first, you got to pick what you want to unlock. So let's say we wanted to unlock this weapon right here. We would activate it. And now if we go back to the main menu, you can see to unlock the Hogger 26, we have to complete daily challenges. We have to complete five of them. So our daily challenges were get five operator headshots with SMGs. Once we did that, we got one progression. Then we did our second daily challenge, our third daily challenge. However, once you complete all of your daily challenges, you're going to unlock the bonus daily challenge, and this can be done unlimited time. So if we really wanted to farm this, we could go in and every single multiplayer match we win, we're going to get progression towards that zero out of five. So if we win five MP games in a row, we'll unlock that weapon. The quickest way to farm this is to play quick game modes like TDM or free for all. And these are fast game modes. So they're going to end really quickly in the future. If they add a shipment 24 seven, that's going to be a really great way to farm this. Now, moving over to zombies, you can infinitely farm this in zombies as well. But first, I've got to complete my dailies to show you that. And my first daily is to get 75 kills with melee weapons. But uh, you can see they're pretty simple. Just spawn in and knife zombies. It doesn't get any easier than this. There we go. Daily challenge completed. 75 kills with melee weapons. So that should give us one out of five. So now that we've done that daily challenge, you can see we're one out of five for unlocking the Holger. And we've unlocked the bonus challenge. Since we've completed the three daily challenges for today, we have access to the bonus challenge, which is to complete three contracts in Modern Warfare Zombies. So if we go in do three contracts, we're going to get another progression for unlocking that Holger, and we can do that as many times as we want. So clearly, if you want to farm this quickly, you want to do the quick contracts. So the quickest contract, in my opinion, is this one right here, the Eliminate the Bounty. Start by picking up the contract, then you're going to head to this marker on the map, and then you're going to take out the big boss that's in that area. And goodbye, so there's one out of three. Usually, I try to skip any contract that's time-gated, so ones that involve defending an area, those you can't do quickly because you've just got to wait a time limit and it take forever. Another one I like to do is deliver cargo. This one's pretty quick. Go ahead, pick it up. Once you pick this one up, there's going to be an area marked on the map. Once again, you want to head to the marked area. You're going to open the garage and inside of it is going to be an LTV. Now, this next part is really simple. You just want to get in it and drive to the new marker. There is going to be a helicopter that shoots at you, but even just playing solo, just kind of dodge and you'll be all right. Could be a little bit of... Oh, no. Well, um... So biggest thing is don't get the vehicle stuck because that would be a really, really newbie mistake if you just somehow managed to wedge the vehicle into a location. Wow. Don't take shortcuts. Don't take shortcuts. Okay, let's try that again. All right, so drive on the main roads. Don't take shortcuts. Shortcuts make you stuck, which is no good. You fail it. So we're just going to drive right underneath the helicopter and they're going to swoop the package. And we finish it, and there's another progression. Another contract I like to do is Ether Extractions. And you guessed it, once you pick up the contract, you're going to go to the area marked on the map, and you're going to overload the Ether Reactor. There's one of them done. You got to do this to all three of them. And for number three, and there we go, there's another progression. On top of this, Raid Weapon Stash and Spore Control are both also semi-fast. I'm not going to show you step-by-step -step on how to do them, but... As you saw with the contracts, they're pretty self-explanatory. You pick them up and it tells you what to do and where to go. But there is a method that's way faster than this. There's a way to instantly unlock any weapon or equipment you don't have. If you have a friend who has these items and they drop them for you in Modern Warfare Zombies. So right here, I had a friend drop me this. You can see I don't have it unlocked prior to this game. I also had them drop me the Karambit knife as well. If we exfil, we're going to unlock this. And you don't technically have to have a friend drop them. That's the easiest way if you have a friend who already has the items. That way you can get exactly what you want. Exfil and get it immediately. You could technically go to the box, hit the box and, you know, get a weapon you don't have. 
get on the Xfil chopper and Xfil, and it's going to unlock that weapon if you Xfil with it in your inventory. This also works for tacticals and lethal. So if you want to get decoy grenades or claymores, anything you want to unlock quickly, you can take it and Xfil with it in zombies. Moment of truth. Let's see if it works. So we're going to go to the armory, go to weapons. And yeah, both of those are now gone. We own the FR-556 and the Karambit. Both of those we got for X-filling with them in zombies. So if you want to grind with the friend, you can unlock one weapon, he can unlock the other, and then you can go into Modern Warfare Zombies, trade with each other, and it's going to make this whole process way faster. I am going to leave my Discord link down below, so if you want to find people to swap weapons with, that is a great place to do it. And if you guys want to see any more Modern Warfare Zombie Guides or anything to do with Modern Warfare 3 at all, make sure to unlock that sub button. We're going to be covering everything camo-wise and pretty much anything you want to know about the game. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.